of pumpkin desserts you're not going to want to miss today's recipe. It's a pumpkin full of heart bread. It starts with Pillsbury biscuits. has just a few ingredients and a sweet cinnamon glaze. Oh, it's all in a bite. Then mix one quarter of a cup of sugar with a teaspoon of cinnamon. Stir that together and set it aside. Cut each biscuit in half like you were making a sandwich. Continue and do that for all eight biscuits. Then dip each biscuit half in the cinnamon sugar and lay them out on a cutting board. Then we're gonna make the filling with three quarters of a cup of pumpkin puree, one large egg, one teaspoon of vanilla, a quarter cup of granulated sugar, stir that together, and then add one teaspoon of pumpkin spice. You're gonna fill the biscuits with pumpkin. So use a knife to frost each, um, add some pumpkin mixture to each biscuit and then layer them, stack them on top of each other. We're gonna make a few different stacks. You don't want it to fall over, but just keep layering like that until you have all of your biscuits layered and sandwiched with the pumpkin. And then place the layers in a nine by five uh, loaf pan. You're going to add half of a cup of powdered sugar to one teaspoon of cinnamon and about three tablespoons of milk. Start with one to two and then whisk and add more as needed until it's nice and thin. And then pour it over the bread in the pan. And that's it. We have this delicious pumpkin bread. It's pumpkin fall apart. It's like cinnamon roll in a bread with biscuits and frog. It's just, it's absolutely delicious. Let's What's great about this is you don't even need a knife, you can just pull it apart. It's like serving for one, or maybe four. The pumpkin flavor and the cinnamon and that frosting, it's all in a bite. I just need a pumpkin spice latte to go with it. Leave me a comment and let me know your favorite pumpkin recipe below. I'm going to go enjoy this with a cup of coffee while you keep watching. 